Hi guys, welcome to another nature and craft video. In today's video, I'm going to be going through knitting and the basics. I've found that it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's great fun. I've made all sorts of things with knitting. I've been doing it for about six months. And in that time, I've made things like scarves, like that, which I wear a lot. I've made a beanie. That took a while. You can wear that. I've also made things like um, a pouch for all my all the drumsticks. And yeah, really knitting is really versatile. You can do a bunch of different things with it. So keep watching and I'll show you the materials you'll need to knit. Alright, so basically, uh, knitting really doesn't need too many materials. Obviously you will need some wool to start off with. You will also need some knitting needles. But the important thing about needles is that both of the needles are the same width. So as you can see on here, this is three and a quarter millimeters. And that just means that the width is three and a quarter millimeters. So make sure that both of your um, needles are the same width. And also you will need some scissors. Make sure they're nice and sharp. Alright, so now that we've got our materials done, I'll just show you the first step to knitting. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to make a thing called a slip knot, and that's pretty much going to be your first stitch on your needle. So, to start it off, you'll need to watch closely. So you get some excess wool, just like this, and start to make a bit of a ring, like this. So you can see it's going around, then you need it to overlap there, just like that. Then you need to grab the middle part of this, just bring it towards here, and lift this edge up, and bring it under. But you don't want to bring all of it under, just this little bit. Keep this bit outside. And basically, um, so you have around, then under the wool, going inside, outside, then going back under. So I'll let you guys have a look at that for a bit. You can pause the video as well. So just, just like that. Then you're going to get your needle, and with this little loop, you put it under the loop, and hold onto this tight, and this one, carefully, just just pull it in towards the needle. Then just to tighten it, you want to pull both of these. Just pull it nice and tight. Not too tight because acrylic wool can snap really easily. And the last step, what I like to do, because this little bit can get a bit annoying, you just need to cut it, but not too close. So around here is perfect. Just tighten it again, and you have created a slip knot. So the next step is to do what's called casting on, and that's just going to make all the little stitches along here so that we can knit with them. So to cast on, just hold onto the needle in your right hand, and with your left hand, get these bottom three fingers and grip the wool, bring it up and you need to make a pointer shape, so an L shape with your pointer and your thumb. Now with your pointer carefully bring it around and up like that. So if I show you that again grip with these fingers, pointer around and up and the next step is to get the needle and bring it underneath this bit of wool here. So just again, underneath the wool and slip this finger out and now it's looped around you just pull it tight and you have your second stitch. Now you're going to repeat this for however many stitches you'd like to make. I would recommend a maximum of 30 stitches. So we're just going to keep casting on until we get 
30 stitches. Alright, so these are your 30 stitches. What you want to do is just spread them along the needle a little bit. And now we are going to start doing the knit stitch, also known as the garter stitch. And this is the process that you're going to be repeating through most of the the time that you're making your, your creation. So, we, I need you to watch carefully. So, one, once you've cast on, the wool is coming out on the left side. What we need to do is turn it over so that the wool is coming out the right hand side. And then, bring your other needle and this first, this step um, is a little bit tricky so watch closely so with your needle you're going to get these two little bits here it's not focusing and with this you're gonna go under sorry under this wool here let's just get this to focus a bit more this is an important step. So, under the wool, hold it like a cross, like this, then hold it with these two fingers, and get your other hand to grab this wool, and go around the back, and between the needles. So, around, sorry, and between the needles. Then, this step is pretty tricky. You need to pull these apart. Alright, now with this hand, bring this one up a bit, you're going to slowly slip the needle down, but not too fast because you'll drop the stitch. Then, if you can see the little gap here, once this needle part, this bit of the needle is short enough, you're going to drop it down. Sorry drop it down <laughs> into that and under there. Eventually you'll be able to find where that is then push it through and the last step is to bring it off the top and then just tighten here and you've got your first stitch on this needle. So if you've been able to do that without dropping anything really good work. If you've dropped something that's fine too. This takes a lot of practice. So, I'll show you one more time. There's four steps. Step one, get the needle, oh, and make sure it doesn't go behind. Push it up, up, through these two bits of wool until you have the cross. Second step, bring the wool around here, around the back, between the needles. Third step, the tricky step. Slip this one down and down between that so now it's in front and final step bring it up and off the needle and always tighten. So if those steps are a little bit confusing please go back and watch the video again just rewind until you understand the steps you're gonna do this for every single stitch on here until you get to the end. So that is the row of knit stitch done. The first thing you'll notice when you finish it is that you finish with this, um, the one with the wool on it, in your right hand. What you just need to do is put the empty one in your right hand and this one with the wool on it in your left hand and keep the wool out going to the right hand side and you can start over again. So, this needle under that wool, go from under and end up behind the wool, the other needle, bring the wool around, around the back, between, then the right needle, push it down, slip it down, and into there, and slip that off, and tighten. So you're going to keep doing that for as long as you want this 
uh, thing to be. So I've gotten to the stage where I am very happy with how this has turned out, and I'm ready to cast off. So, to begin your casting off, to start it off, you need to do what we've been doing before. So, under there, behind, needle around, in between, slip through, and off, tighten. And you need to do this for two stitches. So, we have our two stitches here, then, with this needle, you basically need to pull the bottom stitch over the top stitch. So, if you just go in between the stitches, going down into it, then eventually you get underneath, and just loosen it a bit with this needle, and pull it slowly and carefully over the top like that. Take that off, and now tighten it. Let me show you that one more time for the next one. So you have this one. Now you need to get a stitch off this needle, just like the normal stitch, and off. And then for this part, you want to pull this bottom needle, this bottom stitch, over this stitch, and off the needle. So under there. Loosen it a little bit, pull it up and carefully, and don't let this one slip off. Just take this one, take it over, and take this one out, and tighten it. And keep doing that until you get to the bottom. So I'm just going to show you what to do for the last few stitches. And as you can see, there's the two stitches here. Before we do this, I just want to make sure that when you're putting the stitches from this needle onto this needle, you only do two at a time. Never put three or four on, only do two at a time. So, once these two stitches are here, again, just use this needle, stick it between, try and get it underneath, and then bring it out carefully, put it over this one, onto the needle, and then slip this one out, tighten that, and now there's this last one, so you put this one on to that needle, and we're nearly done. Get this needle for there, put it over just like the other ones, just like that. And now there's one more stitch here, and we can't exactly put another stitch over this one because there's only this one, so what you have to do is be very careful with this step. Just get about uh, 10 or maybe even 20 centimeters of extra wool. That's really out of focus. And what we have to do is get this wool through the loop, which is this final stitch. So what I do, I just pull it away so that the loop is uh, nice and big and easy to get it through. Just bring it off the needle carefully be very careful of this last step. Just get the wool <laughs> put it through the loop keep pulling tight and cut the end off and you've finished your creation. Hopefully it'll be a bit bigger than mine though. So those are just some basics to get you started on knitting. Stay tuned because I will be posting more knitting videos so you can practice your skills. Uh, but just keep up the good work and I will see you in another video. Thanks for watching. See ya.